Good afternoon, and thank you so much for joining me for my persuasive speech on listening. So when I first originally started uh, preparing the speech, I was going to do it more about an in-person listening skills, um, primarily also focusing on those nonverbal communication skills. But with the current uh, COVID-19 pandemic, it's really changed our world, the way we're interacting and the way that we have to do things. And one of the greatest things that it's changed for me is the fact that all of my colleagues and myself included are now forced to work from home offices. And so along with that, I'm now on the phone talking to guests a lot more frequently and having to handle situations and take care of things with that. So I don't have that advantage of the nonverbal communication uh, skills. And so it's really changed uh, the dynamic of all of that and what I have to really work with and focus on. And so in uh, preparing, pre uh, preparing for this, I've really looked at three different uh, types of listening skills that work really well for uh, what I have to do on the phone um, with my guest. And so that is one, active listening, two, repeating back what I have to uh, heard them say to me, and then asking clarifying questions. And so I work for, for a really large company, and a lot of people spend thousands upon dollars uh, with us planning lifelong vacations. Some of them, like I said, have been preparing this for their entire life, if not uh, definitely for many years for a lot of people. And so it's uh, been very challenging. So a lot of the times the phone calls that I'm receiving and the guests I'm talking with uh, are very emotional. And so I have to learn how to show empathy through the phone and how to show that I do care and I'm here trying to help them and to work out a great situation for them. And so, and you know, we don't want to just portray that we're a big corporation and we don't care because we do care and we want the best for everyone that's involved in all of this. And so one of the greatest things is uh, active listening, making sure you're really hearing what they have to say. And so I know a lot of times that I'll say things like, mm-hmm, um, you know, just so that they know that I am currently listening. Now, I don't want to interrupt them um, because I do want them to feel like they have my full attention for them to speak and to get off their chest, whatever they have to. And so one of the great articles I found about active listening uh, was actually a, an article wrote back in 1987, even though it's as valuable today as it was then. And this article was by Carl R. Rogers and Richard E. Farson from an article entitled Communicating in Business Today. And so one of the great things that they've said in here is when people are listened to sensitively, they tend to listen to themselves with more care and to make clear exactly what they are feeling and thinking and needing. And so uh, that means that they're able to communicate with me. Uh, and so whenever they realize that I'm truly listening to them, one of the great things that I do is I take notes. Uh, that way I have it right here, what they're saying. And like I said, I do say those things like, mm-hmm, um, I understand. Um, yes, you know, and that way, but I'm not going to really interrupt them. I'm going to let them speak. <clears throat> and then once they have spoke, because um, I find a lot of times people, uh, one of their biggest issues is they just want somebody to listen to them. They want to be able to vent, get things off their chest. And so once uh, they have spoke, um, then you want to repeat things back to them, the questions that they've asked and things like that. That way they know that you have heard them. And I found a great article from the Harvard Business Review. And this one was an article entitled, What Great Listeners Actually Do. And this was by Jack Zinger and Joseph Falkman. And this is a little more current. It was July 14th of 2016. And in here it says, encouraging listeners um, remain quiet while listening and say that sounds such as, mm hmm, like I said earlier. Uh, and then repeat back to the caller something such as, so let me make sure I understand what you're saying is. That way they do understand that you are listening to them. You are kind of get a feel of what they're saying. It also uh, helps uh, let you build up a little bit more of a rapport with them. And then lastly, you want to ask those clarifying questions. Also from the Harvard Business Review, in an article called The Surprising Power of Questions, um, this one was by Alicia Wood Brooks and Leslie K. John from June of 2018. <laughs> it says right here, uh, questioning is a uniquely powerful tool for unlocking value and understanding. And so, uh, you know, whenever you start asking those clarifying questions, it allows you to really dig into what they're looking for. Find out what they are really needing. You know, is it something that they just want somebody to listen to them vent? Or is there really something that you are able to offer them to help them out with? And so these listening skills are very, 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 very uh, key into helping uh, develop that rapport, um, 
get them uh, from the state of where they were, you know, if they're very upset, into a more positive state and, you know, actively knowing that you are finding a solution or doing your best for that solution, regardless of the circumstances around us. A great, uh, great quote uh, by Dell Carnegie about being a good listener um, from his 1936 book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. He said, ask questions the other person will enjoy answering. And that's very, very true. So you want to uh, kind of stay away from those bad questions if you can. And, you know, I work really hard at trying to make magic for my guest and trying to really find out what they're looking for. But I ask questions uh, that I know that they will enjoy, you know, like, why did they choose our company? And, you know, what are they looking forward to as soon as things are back to normal? So I think together with all these things, we can really, really work together um, to improve our listening skills. There's always room to improve in that and to really hone that. And that will just help overall help create a better experience for you and the person that's listening to you and the person that you are listening to. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and I look forward to speaking to you all real soon. Bye.